Oh, help me somebody. They, they, they don't get sick time. and they, they don't get vacation time. They can't participate in the medical insurance because they are only part-time. And we got to understand the same way is with Jesus. You want the benefits. Oh. Can y'all see this? How, how many of you, just, just be honest. How many of you want God totally committed to you? Driving these highways? Yeah. And with all the crime that's going on in Houston? Yes. You want God totally committed to you. In other words, you want a full-time God. So if you want a full-time God totally committed to you, you can't give him part-time commitment. Now, y'all let me know if I'm not making any sense. You know, it's, it's like, wow. When we read God's word, we see he is totally committed to us. Romans Chapter 8, verse 30 and 31, uh, Paul asks the rhetorical question, um, and he says, if God is for us, then who can be against us? For God did not even spare his own son. I mean, and, and, and Paul says, look, if he didn't spare his own son from the cross, from shedding his blood on Calvary's cross for all of our sins, if he didn't spare his own son, how will he not give us everything we need? Come on, everybody say, God's committed. Come on, say, he's totally committed to us. Then why would we try to give him part-time commitment? You know, it's like this. Uh, when you are dating, you know, you get to that point where it looks like this thing is it's kind of jealous. You know, guy, you know, he, he says, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and park the car. It's time. It's time. You know, uh, we've, been, we've been dating seven years. <laughs> it, it's time. It's time. I need to, go, need to go on and get serious about this thing. So, so y'all get engaged and everything and then, you know, you know, right before the wedding he says, look, we just got to have this conversation because you know uh, me and my frat, uh, my brothers, you know, we real tight. And uh, I just want you to know, we're going to get married, but Friday night, it's me and the boys. Me and the boys. Uh, we, 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 you know, we got to hang out. We, we got to do some things. And, and I want you to know, I'm going to try to get in by two. <laughs> and if I don't get in by two, don't stay up. Or don't, don't wait on me and don't worry about me. And by the way, don't be checking to try to find out where we were and how much money I spent, you know, because I'm going to take care of you the, the, the other day. You, you're going to be all right. You're going to have a roof over your head. You're going to have food on your table. You're going to have clothes on your back. But Friday night... I don't know many ladies who would accept that deal.
I, I thought I would have a whole bunch of ladies say, yeah, say it, Pastor. Tell them. The, the shame of it is that's the deal we're giving God. 